Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is My Web, and guys, in the last video, I told you about how to make a slider. We are using the VX slider. Now, in this video, I am going to create a slider content like how to put a, some heading and another two buttons like buy, uh, buy now and read more buttons. Okay, here is buy now where I put it some more icon and here is read more button another and uh, it's take a margin from left. So how can I do it? So simply you need to go your text editor. Okay, sorry for that. Yeah, it's a blank now. Now I am going to do my text editor and I am going to do my industrial PHP file and I put the anchor tag where I uh, put some slider, slider image, here is slider one, and it's under under the anchor tag. Okay. Mm. After the anchor tag, I write another comment. Here is the slider content. I take a div. The class name is slider content. And after the slider content, sorry, in the slider content, I write a S3 tag and write some dummy text. Okay, now press the control S button and check in the browser. Refresh it. Yeah, as you can see that here is our demo text. Now, how can, I, how can I put it into the middle of this slider? So, I am going to do my style CSS file and take a style. Uh, before the styling, I write a comment. This is for the slider content. Okay, now dot slider content. I take a position absolute from top is 150 pixel, from the left is 100 pixel. And I, th I think we need to uh, uh, take a width, so it's a width is near about 600 pixel. Now press the control S button and check in the browser. Yeah, as you can see that the, our text is put it into the middle of this slider area. Now I think we need to change the color and another text transform, transform. So you can simply take a class name from the bootstrap. So I in the S3 class the text white and the text capitalize okay now press the control s button and check in the browser again refresh it yeah it's, uh, the text is now white now we need two buttons so after the s3 tags we write a another anchor tag and in the hyper reference we put the Hashtag now I take a button and in the button we write by now and take a class from bootstrap is VTN and the VTN primary. Okay, now copy this and paste it again and it's danger okay and change this text is into the read more now press the control s button and check in the browser again press now as you can see that there is buy now and read button now we need a cart icon from the sorry before the buy now text so yeah this one the i class equal the class name is FAS for shopping cart okay and from the BTN outline danger 
okay now press the control button control button and check in the browser again refresh it now you see that here is buy now button and here is read more button now we need a margin from left so simply you can go to the your danger button and take a margin left ml 5 actually the ml5 is a bootstrap class which is provided we take a margin from left and here is the number of positions like 1 2 3 4 5 okay now i press the control s button check the browser so as you can see that the binary and read more button is take a margin from left now I am going to just copy the whole thing of slider content. Control C to copy and paste it into the three times, so two times only. Now press, I am going to press the Control S button and check it again. Yeah, yeah, as you can see that the all whole slider content is put in the all slider images so i think you learn how to make a slider content we are using the stimulus and another bootstrap you can sim you can also create this uh, without the bootstrap uh, using the core css styling okay it's all depend on you now we will meet into the next video with the product card ui design so take care bye bye and stay with me happy coding Oh, 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 oh,